Hello everyone and welcome to this Ecognition Deconstructed video of this month. Today I'm gonna talk about another algorithm. Last week was merge region, today we're gonna talk about grow region. And as usual I'm gonna start with a bit of theory and afterwards we're gonna have a look at two different use cases. Let's just right away jump into these two slides that I've prepared for this video. And afterwards, let's have a look at the use cases. So what is grow region doing? Um, this algorithm actually extends all image objects that are specified in the domain. So in the domain, you define the seed image objects that then are growing, right? And they are growing uh, by neighboring image objects of defined candidate classes. So you also can define the candidates that uh, the image objects, the seeds are growing into. And for each process execution, only those candidate image objects that neighbor to the seed image objects before the process execution are merged into the seed objects. Let's have a look at the next slide where I try to put these sentences here into graphics. Let's assume here that a red is our seed class. We start at the left hand side with zero executions of this grow region algorithm. And we want to grow into the yellow class. So the yellow image objects. Red uh, is our seed class, which we define in the domain. And yellow is our candidate class that we define in the parameters of this algorithm. After executing it once, the seed object grows into these candidate objects. Two times it grows again and three times all yellow image objects that were classified or defined as candidate image objects are now classified as seed. And you also see that it merges these image objects already together. And this approach is also called seed grow strategy where you grow from a seed into candidate class that you define. And here's the first use case. So what do we have here? That's a Sentinel-2 image. And what I want to do is classify water. And as you see, water is not just simply blue. It has different variations due to sediments and vegetation. And we're going to use the grow region algorithm to overcome this issue, to tackle it. Okay. For preparation, I did a segmentation I classified water, so I calculated the NDWI, which stands for Normalized Difference Water Index. That was done using a customized feature with the creating new arithmetic feature functionality. And there you simply type in your formula. In this case, it's close to the NDVI. It's uh, green minus near divided by mean green plus near infrared. Okay, and the high values that uh, come out of this formula, the, the high pixel values uh, correspond to water. So I classified very high values into water directly, which would be our seed class. And then I classified potential water with a lower threshold. And all the rest is unclassified. It's mainly yeah, mainland, well, not water actually. All right, I copied this to a second level. So we have two levels. Uh, that helps us to keep track of the changes that we are applying to the image object form. And here you see uh, what we are working with. So in this case, we are applying this uh, seed and grow strategy to grow from our seed image objects, uh, classified in this case as water, into this potential water. Again, we want to grow into these candidate classes, these bright blue classes, uh, which are classified as potential water and from the class water, which is our seed class and not into this orange class. Let's have a look at the algorithm grow region. So in the domain, as stated before, you define the seed object. In our case, it's water on level two and down in the algorithm parameters, we are defining the candidate class, in our case, potential water. And we can use this process property window, hit the play button, and that's going to execute this process once. And that's the result after executing it once. So you see it's classifying these image objects. So reclassifying them into water and also merging them in one step. 
let's so what we have to do is have we have to execute it uh, more often because it's only affecting candidate classes that directly touch water so hitting this uh, play button in the process property window it's the same as uh, executing the process in the process tree and you see we are gonna eat our so our class water is gonna eat into these potential classes potential water classes I change the number of cycles here to 10 that means when I hit the play button I execute this process it's gonna execute this one 10 times in a row and that's the final result here of our classification and the good thing is now that um, if uh, potential waters uh, if some objects were classified as potential water but they never touched water uh, they cannot be classified as water right so you might not see them but we have misclassified image objects in the landmass um, but they're not reclassified as water because they didn't never touch water next example please so this one is fairly generic uh, i just made up uh, something to show you how this algorithm works so i have a dtm in the background i did simply a chessboard segmentation uh, classified some image objects uh, i used the manual classification tool and these are now our seed objects and the unclassified image objects so the transparent ones are our candidate classes. I have two levels again. So level one stays untouched. We're gonna work on level two and I prepared two grow region algorithms. So you could actually use the edit process uh, window, execute it, append a new process and so on. But you also can do everything that you can do in the process tree window here with the process property window. You can add uh, processes, uh, uh, also child processes and execute them. So let's just start executing something. So the first algorithm is working on level two. Class filter is seed and in the algorithm parameters we have different settings. Let's just execute this first and discuss it afterwards. So you see some seed objects are growing and some do not grow so that might be a bug in ecognition but it's actually it's not a bug it's what i told ecognition to do and that's defined in the algorithm parameters so we have candidate classes unclassified that's more or less the same as in the example before with the potential water but i also defined a fitting function um, and that's actually constrained by a feature here. It's the mean DTM and it only grows now into candidate classes classified as unclassified that have a mean DTM. And then you have to check the comparison that's larger than 1000 units. In our case, it's meter. So it compares it to this layer and if this is true, only then the seed objects will grow into this image object if it fulfills all these criteria. And that explains why on the right hand side these image objects uh, are not growing because the neighboring image objects do not fulfill these criteria that are defined in the algorithm parameters. Let's just keep on executing this algorithm a few times. These four do not grow and here on the left hand side one stopped as well and it stopped because it cannot grow further right oh, it's it stopped growing northwards because uh, the area is getting lower there and all these adjacent unclassified image objects to this glass this red seed glass are now lower than 1000 meters so it wasn't able to grow anymore let's have a look at the next one so you see something changes here when I compare these two algorithms. And in this case, I also defined in the domain a condition, which is here mean DTM has to be larger or equal to 1500. And the fitting function stays the same down here for the candidate classes. 
and now you see the result is different after executing it once. So this one is not growing because the seed image object is lower than 1500 meters. And that's just an additional condition for the seed image objects that you define domain. Now this one stopped, let's check why. All right, so it grew into lower image objects. And now the mean height of this image object got lowered to below 1,500 meters, so it stops also. Let's execute this a uh, few more times. And now this message pops up that there are no image objects available anymore to grow into. And that would be the final result for these settings that I have defined here. So this algorithm is very helpful uh, if you have seeds where you're very certain that they belong to a certain class and then you grow based on certain criteria into the neighboring image objects. Okay, so that was this video, eCognition Deconstructed. Next month uh, we're gonna have another one. Please stay tuned and hear you next time.